What is up internet, Jay Broadway here. Today I'm going to be unveiling to you the secrets of the layer module. Now before I understood these secrets, I was a lost man wandering the face of the earth. I did not know my destiny, nor did I care to even seek it out. But now that I understand these secrets, these secrets that I'm here to teach to you today, my depression and anxiety, gone. My parents, they love me. Love Women, they want to have sex with me. And they will want to have sex with you too if you watch this entire video. All right, so I got three sounds. I got three scents right here. I got a pluck. All together, it sounds like this. Nice little dance progression. So if I wanted to make a change to any one of these, let's just say the pluck, let's just say I just want to move this up like 300 cents. Now, what I would have to do is I'd have to copy this and then I'd have to paste it to each individual one to make the change. But if you're using the layer module, you don't actually have to do that. You can tie all three of these sounds together. So what I'm going to do here is I just right click this plus button. I'm going to search for layer and I'm just going to drag it to the top here. The layer module itself does not actually do anything. It's not until you open it up here, you select the synths that you want to combine together and then you click set children. Now, if I actually press my MIDI keyboard in the layer module, you can see that it's actually triggering all three sounds. So now I can actually just move that to the layer module and delete all this and we have the same effect. Yeah, so that's the basic functionality of the layer module. It's more of a workflow tool. If you incorporate it into your projects, you'll definitely be more effective and more efficient as a producer because you don't have to spend your time editing each individual layer. And you're not just limited to synths too. Like I can open up an envelope here the fruity envelope controller, and I can actually set it as a child too. So now every time I trigger the layer, it's actually going to trigger the fruity envelope as well. All right, so I just made like a super basic envelope here. Okay, now I'm gonna link this cutoff to that envelope by just clicking this right here. And then I'm gonna right click this button right here and just do link to controller. And I'm gonna do the articulator one, accept. Now, as you can see, every single time I push the layer module, the cutoff is getting triggered. Let me make this like really short. So the thing that sucks here is every single time I'm clicking this envelope right here, it's actually moving the focus to the envelope here. So the way that I can fix this is I can actually right click the layer here and do receive notes from my oxygen MIDI keyboard and click all there. Now, if I click and edit this, it's going to trigger regardless. All right, so I just deleted everything. We're going to build it again from the ground up so you can kind of see the process of combining and layering sounds together with layer module. All right, I'm gonna get Nexus out here because I have a very intimate relationship with Nexus. All right, I'm gonna get a piano. All right, I'm gonna clone this now. Let's do like a pizzicato. All right, let's clone this again. Now I'm gonna right click there, search for layer drag it right there. And now I'm going to open it up, select my children and set children. Now, every time I click the layer module, all of them are going to play at the same time. But let's just say we want the harp to play an octave lower relative to the piano and the pizzicato. Right now I'm playing C7 right now, but we actually want it to be C6. And the way that we do that is we open up the harp here. You're going to want to click the gear here and click the wrench. And now here you're going to want to right click an octave lower. So we were just at C5 here. And if I click an octave lower here where it's blue, we actually play higher. And if we go lower to C6, we're actually playing lower relative to the note that I'm clicking here. So we can even go like an, another octave down there. We could go as low as we want. Now, if we turn on the pizzicato and the piano and we trigger the layer module, we can hear that the harp is playing an octave lower than everything else. Okay, so in this example right here, I have two sounds. I got a synth and a pad. Now the synth is only being triggered on the right side of my keyboard right here. And the pad is only being triggered on the left side. So you can play two sounds together at the same time with one keyboard using the layer module. All right, so I'm going to reset both of these and I'm gonna show you how to set this up. Currently as it stands, we have both sounds playing at the same time. We don't want that. 
So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into the synth layer here. You want to find the note that you want to split the keyboard down. So for me, it's going to be C6. Now for the synth here, I'm just going to double click here and then drag all the way to the end there. Now what's highlighted shows where we can actively trigger notes. Now where it is grayed out here, if I try to push my MIDI keyboard, no sound is going to come through. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over to my pad here and make sure I'm in this wrench icon right here. I'm going to find C6 right here and I'm going to click and then drag all the way to the left. So now on the left side of the keyboard, I can play that pad and on the right side, I can play that synth. And if you guys want to know these sounds here, the synth is Polysynth 3 and it's from the Deep House expansion pack and this pad is 70s pad 02 from the Big Tone Signature 3 pack. All right, in this last example, I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually program drums with the Fruity Layer module. Now, I'm not exactly sure why you'd wanna do it this way because there are limitations to programming drums like this and it's kind of cumbersome to set it all up, but I wanted to show you guys this as an example just so you can see the full extent to what's possible with the Layer module. The way that this works is with the Layer module, I have all these different drums linked together uh, that's triggered with the piano. And this actually allows me to program all my drums within the piano roll, similar to how you would program drums with the FPC. Now there are limitations to doing this. For example, if you wanted to like roll down these hats, like something like this, obviously you can't do that. So if you wanted this functionality, you would have to select all these, go to your hats, and then just do it manually like this. Then you have to come here and reset the piano. There, now you have that roll off effect. Another limitation is the cut and buy does not work when you're using the layer module. And I think this might just be a bug and maybe this will be fixed in the future. Okay, I'm gonna reset all of these and I'll show you guys how to do this. First, you wanna open up the layer module, highlight all your children and click set children. Now any key that I press on my MIDI keyboard, is gonna trigger all the sounds. We wanna limit each of the sounds to an individual note on the keyboard. So let's start with the kick first. So we're gonna have the kick set to C5, so I'm just gonna click there. And now if you accidentally do this, where you select two notes, double click, and then it'll set it to C5. Now, if I'm in the layer module here, I'm just gonna mute everything except for the kick. Now, nothing is going to trigger the kick unless I hit C5. Now we just have to do the same thing for all the other sounds. Let's go to the clap here. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna set the clap to B. Now it's only gonna trigger here. Now the thing with this is notice how if like I set a note way down here, the pitch is like super low and you don't want that. So to set the pitch again, you just right click to get that blue marker over the note that you want. Now it's actually playing its relative pitch. So I'm gonna go back to B here, double click there and I'm gonna set its relative pitch there as well. So now B, or now the clap is going to be triggered on B4 at its relative pitch. Now I'm just gonna do the same thing for the snare, the closed hat and the open hat. So let's open up the snare here, this note right here. So double click, relative pitch, open up the closed hat, this one right here, relative pitch, and then the open hat, last but not least, this one right here. There we go. Now we got all of these instruments mapped to the keyboard. Now, if I go back to the layer module here, we can now program drums with the piano roll in here. All right, that is it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new, be sure to subscribe as well as leave a comment down below with the future tutorials you'd like to see. I got music on Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube. Check that out. Uh, yeah, I'm done talking. Peace out.